What's up, everybody? Coach Marty P. Hill with Sweet Science Fence Boxing Club. Tuesday, training tips and techniques. Hey, really quick, everybody. This question has been asked a million times, different ways, different formats, from all kind of athletes, and especially boxers. How much should I run? How many miles should I run? How much should I train? And I'm going to give you guys something that's going to blow your minds. And actually, this came from the great Emmanuel Stewart. Every fighter is just like every human being. Everybody's made a little bit different. There's no one blueprint of how every human being is. There's no one blueprint how every fighter is. What I mean by that is everybody's body reacts to things differently. Everybody does things a little bit differently. You might have someone who can run 10 miles a week and be phenomenal in the boxing ring. You can have people who run two, three miles a week and be phenomenal in the boxing ring. It just really depends upon what works best for that individual's body. Even with diet, the same thing. Emmanuel said this best. Hey, if I've got a fighter that can eat a steak after weigh-ins and, and, and be energized and ready to fight on fight night, I let him eat a steak. If a fighter can't perform after eating that, then he won't eat it. I can't tell a guy what to do or a girl what to do or not to do because it's not my body. They gotta do what feels best for them. That's gonna make them feel the most comfortable and the most perform at their utmost optimal performance. So there's the answer to that question. You do what you do best for your own body. Yes, you gotta run. Yes, you gotta jump rope. Yes, you gotta be in the gym. There are certain fundamental factors or things that yes, that you have to do. Now, as far as the time and how much you maximize it, that's gotta be towards A, your coach, and the strategy and plan of what works best for your body. But one thing that I do know that is important is the recovery period. A lot of times we do forget how important recovery and rest is. So train hard, but also make sure that you don't overtrain. Get enough sleep, get enough rest, rehydrate when you need to, make sure your body is fully supplemented with the nutri nutrients and vitamins that you need to make sure that your bones and your muscles are recovering at a faster pace. Stay tuned to our channel as always for daily boxing tips and techniques here at Sweet Science Fitness Boxing Club.